Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, we'll see how to encode reveal animations in gradients. We'll see how to go from a picture containing green gradients, like the one you're seeing on your screen, to this reveal animation that contains 13 different animations using only one title in one track. The final result of this tutorial will look like this. You can apply different effects to change the results. Here are some examples. Also, using this method, you can create tracking maps like this. Full details right after the intro. In part 1 of this tutorial, we applied the green screen chroma key effect to a green gradient and then selected the reverse checkbox. We found that as the brightness range increases, darker colors become visible. Now, with that method in mind, take a look at this image. The four color of each of the two letters is a vertical green gradient. The gradient of letter A goes from a lighter color at the top to a darker shade of green at the bottom. The gradient of letter B starts with a color that is slightly darker than the color of the top of letter A. It also ends with a color that is slightly darker than the color of the bottom of letter A. This means that once the chroma key effect is applied to this image and reversed, keyframing the progress of the brightness range will cause letter A to be gradually revealed and it will start being revealed a bit before the reveal of letter B begins. Now, switching gears, this is the image that we'll be using for this tutorial. Each letter and shape in the image has a separate green gradient. The image has a transparent background and it was created using a vector drawing app called Vectornator. For the purpose of this method, you can use Vectornator or any other app that can produce gradients. The background has to be either transparent, like in this tutorial, or black. Import the image to LumaFusion. Add also a background video of your choice. In this case, the duration of the image is set to 12 seconds and the duration of the background video at 15 seconds is longer than the duration of the image. Edit the image, apply the chroma key effect and reverse it in the same way as was done before. Notice how the gradients affect the reveal of the different components in the image as the brightness range is adjusted. Now, you'll start adding keyframes to control the content and pace of the reveal animation. Make sure that the time slider is at the beginning of the clip. Adjust the brightness range to the point before the first letter of the word spring appears, in this case at 6.3, and add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Move the time slider to the 115 mark and set the brightness range to the first value that shows the word spring in its entirety. The value is 44.7. A keyframe will be automatically created. Move the slider one second forward to the 215 mark. Adjust the brightness range to 65.9. Most of the image is now revealed, leaving only the points part of the two stars hidden. A keyframe will be automatically created. Move the time slider another second forward to the 315 mark. Change the brightness range value to 66.8. This will cause the stars to be fully revealed. A keyframe will be automatically created. This is how it looks so far. Now move the slider to the 8 seconds mark and persist the current reveal by manually adding a keyframe. Move the time slider forward once again to the 9 seconds mark. Change the brightness range to 44.4. The keyframe created will ensure that between the 8 seconds mark and the 9 seconds mark, all the elements in the image besides the word spring will gradually disappear. Now move the time slider to 10.15 and manually create a keyframe, so nothing changes between the 9 and 10.15 marks. Finally, move the time slider to the end of the clip. Bring the brightness range down to the point the word spring is no longer visible. 
the value will be about 6. This is how it looks now. You will need the animations to have a consistent tone of green. To do that, select the original color preset and adjust the values as shown. Exit the editing mode and check the results. Now place the clip containing the animations just above the background video, so it sits close to the middle. This is how it looks like now. Render your project. Take the original image containing the gradients and using the image editing app of your choice, in my case Vectornator, create a cloned image where the gradients are replaced with vibrant colors. Add also a black edge to each one of the elements in the image. Start a new LumaFusion project. Add the video you just rendered and the color for image. The image should have the same duration as the imported clip, 15 seconds. Place the rendered clip on top of the image. Edit the rendered clip and apply the green screen chroma key effect. Don't click on the reverse checkbox this time. Exit back to the timeline and you are done. This is how it looks now. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.